Okay. Happy late, happy Thanksgiving to all you Canadians out there. Um, first I'm going to start off by telling you, um, I was trying to do a video a few minutes ago and my screen was black. So I just had to hit the um, setting reset on my camera. And then my garland, I have like black and orange garland around here with pumpkins hanging off it. And um, it's like around my computer, like I decorated it up for Halloween. And it was getting in the way, so I had to move it so that it wasn't in the way of the camera. So you're probably wondering about my birthday. For those of you who are, uh, eh, I'm getting tongue twisted here, I can't speak right. For those of you who are on my Facebook, um, who haven't checked out my photos, check out my birthday album from yesterday. Um, I posted all the photos, and tomorrow I'll put a slideshow together. For those of you who are not on Facebook, or who are not on my page yet, who haven't added me, who'd like to see the photos. So I'll do that um, tomorrow and put that all together. Um, I thought I might share with you what I got for my birthday uh, from Julia. Um, she got this when we were at Fortino's. It is a grocery store here in Brampton that we went to on Saturday and she picked it up with Brian in the floral department. They were going to get me flowers but I said no, you know, flowers don't last forever. But I know Julia really wanted to do it, so I said, okay, um, how about on Mother's Day? Um, I'd rather have fake flowers. This way they'll last forever. But I do have to understand that it's the thought that counts. And if this is something that Julia wants to do, I have to just expect, accept what she wants to do. So um, I'm going to share with you guys uh, what Julia got me for my birthday. Um, let's see if it'll focus here. Okay. Well, I'm going to try not to get so much glare off it here, but so you can see the face. There you go. So, this is what she got me. It is totally amazing. She picked it out because she says, Mommy really loves these. So yes, um, I'm a cat lover. And, um, so, um, let's go, um, in order here. Um, you might have seen them before when I was pointing to the back there, to my mantle, or whatever. But I'm going to show you them up close. Um, this is the card um, my dad sent me in the mail, which had the two scratch tickets. And um, I just got a text here. Just have to say hello to my friend Kevin. So, anyways, um, I'm going to read you what the card says. It says, Daughter, you've got it all looks, brains, personality, talent, and there's a good reason for it. Hereditary. Happy birthday. Love, Dad. Then, this card um, is from Angela, the girl that I went to college with. To Jennifer, October 10th, 2010. Hope knowing that you're thought of in a very special way will add an extra little bit of sunshine to your day. Have a happy birthday. Have a great day. All the best, Angela. And then, this is so sweet. This card is from Julia. Okay. Julia sent me or gave me this card. I don't know why I said sent. She gave me this card. And it's an extra special card because she didn't sign it. 
and it says, Hope you get more than your share of birthday magic. Happy birthday. That has to be Kevin getting back to me. Just had to tell him I'm doing great. Um, anyways, now this is really from the heart. So we're going to back this up. Julia made this card for me. And she did a design there on the four corners. And then on the inside, she did that. Um, it says Julia, and then it just says the alphabet and numbers and two great big hearts. And then my sister got me this card. So I'm going to share it with you guys. Happy birthday, sis. You know, over the years, our hairstyles have changed. Our fashion has changed. Even tastes in music have changed. But one thing has always stayed the same. Jennifer, I'm younger than you. Try not to let it bother you and have a happy birthday. And on the back it says, you're, and you're no spring chicken. So I'm very thankful for those wonderful cards and my beautiful gift, which I will cherish. Um, I'm one of those people that keep all my cards. Um, any cards that I get from YouTube, I actually get. Um, I will put them up here for a bit and display them and then when I get my next card I will put it in a special album that I started to keep all my cards and postcards and that was just Kevin getting back and um, I guess since I was a teen I started collecting all my cards like um, all birthday cards, Valentine's Day, Easter, graduation, um, any type of card um, I actually kept. I have um, a letter book that I started. Any letter that I received, whether it was from my stepdad or from a friend or even a little note, I put it in this book to keep for memory so that I could look back over the years and, um, you know, say, hey, do you remember? I still have that note you sent me or I have that letter that you sent me because it really meant something to me to receive that um right now um I'm doing this video for you guys um the weather outside is sitting at 11 so it's pretty cool cold probably Brian's already asleep um Julia's asleep which I gotta go get her up soon to go to the washroom and that's Kevin again. He was just wondering what I was doing, so I told him I'm doing a video. Um, so yeah, I gotta go check the dishwasher and the laundry. So what have I been doing all day? Well, it's Thanksgiving. Brian made a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner. We had turkey, gravy, squash, whole wheat dinner rolls. Um, we had a little bit of leftover peas, which there was only enough for me and Julia. And we had mashed potatoes. I'm pretty sure I, um, if I didn't say it, I'm saying it now. What else did we have? Brian had salad. And then... Um... Yeah, Brian had salad. I... I'm not really of a salad person. Unless I make it myself, and I only like it with ham and cheese. 
I know, you may think I'm weird. Um, then we had apple pie. So, I helped clean up. Um, put everything in the dishwasher. Ran the dishwasher, which it's in the process of drying right now. And then I gotta empty it, and then I gotta load up what left of the dishes that can go in the dishwasher and then wash the ones that can't be put in the dishwasher. So, um, I made Julia's lunch today, made a wonderful big breakfast. Um, I made eggs, potato patties. Julia had a bagel, mini bagel. I had toast and apple juice. And Julia was really excited because usually once a week, um, usually on a Sunday, well, today's Monday, we had a, a PA day because Thanksgiving. Well, anyways, bye for now.